welcome to our quick setup guide for the own visuals and sound alerts extension. If you haven't already, start Twitch and click on the creator dashboard on the right side. Then open the extensions tab on the left and search for owned. Click add and activate our extension as a panel or component. If you choose panel, then the extension will be set up as a panel below your stream. Components are displayed as a tile on the right side of your stream. Click on visuals and sound to configure. You will be redirected to own pro for easy setup. First, choose your broadcasting tool, either OBS or any other available option. Then copy and paste or drag and drop your personalized link into your broadcasting tool as a browser source. This first link will play sounds and display the alert which is played after someone has used an effect or sound. You need this link for the extension to work. Set the width of the browser source to 520 pixels and the height to 290 for optimal display of our alerts. Choose control audio via OBS only if you don't record desktop audio for your stream to hear. Once you added the link, you will get a confirmation in your configuration on On Pro. If you want to use the visual effects, then you have to install the desktop app. You can skip this if you only want to use sounds and alerts. Download the desktop app and install it. Log in using your own Pro Twitch account. Visuals are visible directly on your screen using the desktop app. Let us have a quick look at the desktop app. Minimize the desktop app to keep it running. Don't close it, otherwise effects won't work on your screen. Disable the overlay to stop visual effects from being played on your screen. If you're using the visual effects browser source, then viewers would still be able to see these visual effects. Mute the sound from the desktop app if you experience doubled sound. This can happen if you're listening to your sound effects browser source as well as your desktop app. Find a list of verified games, report any issues or give us feedback. And most importantly, share your clips with our community. We love seeing our community clips and we react to as many as we can. Sharing a clip might increase your views and potentially get you a visit from the official owned Twitch channel. If you do not share your desktop with your viewers, then you have to add the visuals browser source to make the visual effects appear on your stream for your viewers to see. Copy and paste the link and add a new browser source and change the size of the browser source to fit your screen. In our case, it's 1920 by 1080. Now it's time to add your first sounds and effects. You can preview buttons and then simply drag and drop them to the right to add them to your active extension. As a Twitch affiliate, you can add your buttons to the extension to offer them for bits or free. You can also add buttons as rewards, which allows you to make them available for channel points. Click on my buttons to see your active buttons and also change their settings. You can also preview the button effects and alerts. In the settings drop down, you will find alert and general settings as well as your browser source links if you need them again. First, we take a look at the alert style settings. The alert is played after a viewer has triggered a sound or visual effect on your stream. Choose one of the available styles. The general settings include functions to enable or disable the alerts, the sounds or visuals. This means you have full control over what can be played and can easily turn this on and off depending on your current streaming mood. If you enable alert overlapping, then the alert will play at the same time of the visual or sound. Disabling this function will display the alert with the username after the effect has happened. The global visuals and sounds volume controls the volume for all the effects that have no custom effect or sound volume activated. We'll explain the custom volume after this, so stay tuned. Enable the global extension cooldown and set a timer if you want all the visuals and sounds to have a certain cooldown before users can redeem them again. A button-specific cooldown will ignore the global cooldown. 
We will explain this in a second. Last but not least, the user extension cooldown, if enabled, sets a cooldown for all users. This helps you stop one user from spamming effects over and over again. The Browser and Sources tab has the browser sources for Ustream available, as well as a download button of the current desktop app version. Let's open up my buttons again and talk about the button specific settings. Alert Delay Set a timer between 0 and 60 seconds to show the alert with the username after the event has been displayed on your stream. If you activate alert overlapping in the general settings, then this timer will be ignored since your alert will play at the same time as the effect. It costs. As a non-affiliate, you can use this extension to its full functionality, but you can't set a bit or channel points price, so all the buttons are free to use. If you are an affiliate on Twitch, you can choose between bits and channel points. Click on the drop down and choose one of the options available. If you set it to zero, then this button is free to use. The advanced settings for each button give you a lot of control. Here's what you can do. We talked about the global button volume before in this video. Here you can set a button specific volume. If enabled, the button volume will ignore the global setting. This means you can set the global volume to 50% but can have certain buttons louder or quieter if you want them to be. If disabled, the global volume will be used. Same as before when we talked about the global button cooldown. If you want to set a button specific cooldown that ignores the global cooldown, you can do it here. This helps you to allow certain buttons to be played more often or less than the global setting. Disable this function to use the global button setting. So to summarize, your global volume and cooldown will be applied to all buttons that have no specific custom setting. This gives you more flexibility and control over each effect. In the top right corner you can find the help and feedback drop down. With links to our quick guide, discord, you can give us feedback and see the verified games. Next to this drop down, you can share your clips with our community and get more views and interaction. As mentioned before in the video, we love seeing and interacting to your best visuals and sounds extension clips. And who knows, Owned might visit your stream in the future. Check out our FAQ if you need more help. And now, start up your stream and create epic moments with your community.